Hey everybody, it's Jolin from Jumbo Hodge. We kind of lost our recording for the whole episode, um, but that's not going to stop us. I'm just going to quickly catch you up on what you may or may not have missed. Um, so we finished baking with Natsuki, then we, it was time to say goodbye. She got close, and then Sayuri came along, and then she got sad. But... <laughs> Uh, but we totally re-loved her, hugged it out, and now it's the day of the festival. And that's pretty much all you missed. And yeah, I'm still sick. You're going to hear me say that in the next episode, in this episode, sorry. Um, but yeah, I guess, um, world clip. Welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, as always, I'm here with my co-host, Jolin. And as promised, I'm sicker. In this episode than I was in the last, but today is the day of the festival. Yeah, um, let's see how things go, man. It's gonna get interesting. It's, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I just told Sayori I love her, man. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, that's what happened in the last episode. We made cupcakes. Sayori came. Uh, we told her we loved her, and we're a couple now. Yep. Couple let's see how it goes. Poops. <laughs> and Barry's still with us. Barry's still with us. Barry, I still now. have my ginger tea though. I'm running out. <laughs> of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. <clears throat> but Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes by myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki's already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will go great too. I like how in the beginning we were all focused on Yuri, and now Yuri's nowhere to be seen. I know that's what I'm saying. Where is she? <laughs> well, didn't didn't she even say that? Like where know. Yuri? Victor, you're the first one here. Uh, thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. See, see, we we're not going crazy, me. I'm going crazy. Monica is placing the little How's booklets going, on each other's desk <laughs> in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared. That has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. You laugh? <laughs> <laughs> you loose. Just so, kidding. that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overstepped again. <laughs> that dummy. You'd think that on days this important, she tried a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful. Knowing it's nearly not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all? Maybe. Ha ha ha. You should take a little responsibility for her, Victor. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. What do you mean by exchange? Uh, you kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. What? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I see all. I am the one, the eternal. So she is just a computer. <laughs> She's an NPC. I'm the well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I'm the club president after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Tyree really tell her about it that quickly? Yeah. That we're a couple now. Yeah. I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Yeah. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all. You just. You know, my swag, not my story. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't worry. You probably know a lot. I probably know a lot more than you think. Oh, Damn. oh, that's sketchy. You little... creepy. You look at those eyes. This is the eyes of darkness. But she's still so cute. And Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving an almost professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed <coughs> during the, our practice. Uh, What's this? Nani? <clears throat> nani? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. 
Go, what the hell? Okay. Wait, was there more? I, I didn't scroll so. down. I... Shit. Ah, oh, man. Sorry, guys. Uh, what is this? Running the palm. I got a pit in my stomach. Oh, Victor? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else I already written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Ah. Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly, I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her. Or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of wake, walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs and what I want to give her. I reach out Ari's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? Yeah. In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Oh. The fuck? What happened? What? Oh damn. What the fuck? <laughs> An exception has occurred? What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can't be real. Sorry, you wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. Did I just told you I loved you. The fuck? Yeah. What is going What? I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sorry I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything would be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me, me how painful it is for others to care about her. <laughs> then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. Now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed me for me from me. And now I can never take it back. Never. 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 The end. Is it really the end? I don't know. Is this really the end? Is this really how it ends? Cause that's a pretty oh. good ending. Oh what the happened? fuck? Wait. That's where Sayori used to be. Yes. Why is it Monica? It's not just Monica, it's also Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, it's mostly Monica. I don't know. Uh, Wait, what the fuck? Try loading your game. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. Oh, you see, it's still much better. Oh, what's that whole squiggle thing? What squiggle thing? The uh, above low. This? Should, yeah, shouldn't that be like play? Isn't that a new game? I guess. The fuck? <laughs> Even the music is weird. I see an annoying girl running towards me in the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. That's my, a cool name. My neighbor and good friends that she we were children. You know, 
the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but kind of works out because you know each other for so long. It's literally from the beginning. Yeah. Do I have to read all this? I guess. I mean, I think. Oh no, you can't skip. I would feel better off anyway. However, I just sigh and move across my own night. Oh my god. Ooh. That's. That's um, unsettling. Uh, ooh, what? Uh, it's an ordinary day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst being surrounded by couples and friends. Groups walking but, to school together. Um, Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. No, what? I've always. I always uh, tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Uh, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. Uh, I'm perfectly content just getting by on that. On the average, while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh, <laughs> this is right. <laughs> there's always a club, uh, but it's but it's not like there's any that any girls would be in, anyways. Um, school day. Well, that's that's like that, that's how it was in the other game. School day. Yeah. At least they're blank at the wall for announcing motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them will probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Vicky? Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, it's Monica. Monica. The it's fuck? Monica. <laughs> the fuck, Monica? Jesus. Oh my goodness, I, did, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, it's um, been about one minute, yeah. Yeah, it has. <laughs> Monica sort of smiled sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. This, this is wrong. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. This, this is out of whack. Is yeah. not the right scene. I don't know. It looks right to me. <laughs> Jolin, shut up. <laughs> well, what did you come in here for anyway? Uh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. You know, the usual. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Uh, how about that? I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major club. See that? That's like last time. <laughs> Wait, did she say that last time? Yeah, she did. Uh, it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. The liter- oh. Um... Literature club. Literature? Sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Uh, uh, it's kind of embarrassing. There's only about three of us so far. Four? It's really hard to find new members or anything that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. Emphasis on poetry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? <clears throat> she always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a uh, member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Victor. Not any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Yes. Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? Stop taking your role, you piece of shit! <laughs> I wouldn't ask you to join, but... Can you join? <laughs> uh, at the very least, visit my club. It'll make me really happy. It's not you. These are not your lines. Please. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Sayori? Uh, sure. sure, I guess. Never mind. Sure, I guess I could check it out. I'm taking your lines. <laughs> ah, awesome. You're really sweet, Victor. You know that. It's nothing, <coughs> really. Shall we go, then? Oh, my throat's really dry. Uh, I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Monica, I swear to God. <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> and thus today marks the day I sold my soul for Monica, to Monica and her irresistible smile. Ooh. Nope. You sold your soul for a cupcake. That's something better. Ooh. All right. 
I typically follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Oh, Jesus, man, this is not Monica. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Oh, uh, 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 I guess? Seriously, you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyways, welcome to the club, Victor. Uh, all words escape me in this kind of situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. You do? Her small figure. We're about to kiss. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyways, this is Natsuki, energetic as always, as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. I don't like this, man. <laughs> I just, I got so invested for it to just not turn out. Ah, it's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet the both of you. Uh, so I ran into Victor in the classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone? You? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, I, but it just happened. I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? I can't fucking make her voice when I'm sick. I can't. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that'd be great. Why don't you come and sit down, Victor? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. Oh. Let's sit next to Sayuri. Exactly. I'm not. Uh, so I know I'm you didn't really join this on Monica. Coming here. Monkey, you piece of shit. <laughs> but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? I actually kind of liked you, Monica. You were cool, but now you're just you're weird. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't any more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Or this way. <laughs> I made that joke before. <laughs> uh, not that many people are interested in putting all the effort into starting a new something brand new <laughs> especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature you don't grab my attention monica <laughs> oh my god i'm so mad at you right now you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile but it makes it makes school events like the festival that much more important oh the festival come up. oh well yeah <laughs> but we still have like a few days don't we yeah like two days three days i'm confident that we can all really grow we can really grow this club before you graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki relentingly agrees. Jeez. Such, sorry. <laughs> Such different <laughs> girls are interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Uh, what voice should I give her now? I'm just talking like a higher pitch voice than you normally know, so. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. <laughs> After all, I'm talking to lower, please. <laughs> Doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Nah, don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. What's over here? I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Victor, what kind of things do you like to read? Where the fudge was Yuri when all that shit was happening? Where was she? Like, Monica didn't even ask. Monica asked about Sayori. Oh, she was reading the banner, remember? Yeah, but where was she? Monica didn't even ask where she was. Uh, well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? 
<laughs> I'm worried. <gasps> Ooh. I'm worried quietly to myself, half choking. Natsuki's head suddenly breaks up. Somebody say manga. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like she's uh, she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Oh. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? I feel like all the days are mushing together. Like, like this scene, like these words were not in the first day. And they were. Or it, was, it? it was close. Yeah? We took the, yeah. <clears throat> Especially the, what am I thinking? Or what am I saying? Was that in the first day? I think so. Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid once since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious that the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? It's a little self-gratifying, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I've been, anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. For a loop? Just a loop. Is, is that breaking the fourth wall right there? No, well, a little bit. The creator threw us for a loop right now. A little bit, yeah. took away fucking Sayuri and replaced it with Monica. Oh, damn. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Look in the background. What? I see a picture. Hey, that's Sayori. Yeah, I'll, I'll zoom in. I, I didn't notice that. And that's in her bedroom. That's really creepy. That's very creepy. I barely noticed that right now. What the hell? Damn. I just really grasped with something. I, was that there the whole time? I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll play it back. Was that is yeah. what is going on? Was that when Yuri came in and it glitched out and that's maybe? What, at this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Ah, oh, I, I expected that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I or in this horror. A little bit. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a second, split a second. Never mind. That's right. You usually write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? Who gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind in the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you wrote a po you wrote, you write your own poems? Yeah, well, I guess sometimes. Uh, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? Nah, no. <laughs> nah. Nah. Natsuki overturns her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that love of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing you the deepest reaches of your heart. Uh, actually, I think we, I think this is a good place to stop. Yeah? Yeah. Whoa. Look at that creepy ass shit. Jesus Christ, <coughs> man. I, I haven't been able to take my, my eyes off of that like, like this whole time. I'm just looking at it. Yeah, well, things took a turn. I don't know how Victor feels, but... I, this is a very I, interesting game. I don't know how to feel. I'm like, I'm in, I'm in shock and awe right now. Like, honestly, I just, I'm mad at Monica, but I'm sad for sorry, but I'm creeped out for what happened of this right now. And then I'm, I have so many questions. You yeah, know, what I'm just, I have, it's such mixed feelings. Yeah. It's a good, good game. Good game. I'm enjoying this. Yep. Well, um, Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. Um, let us know what you think of this game. Who you played this game for? Um, do, do you make games? <laughs> if you do, we'd love to play them. Hey, yo, send us some games and we'll gladly play them on our channel. Yep. Uh, and with that, we'll see you next time. See you guys. Stay beautiful.